are we on? I can't tell. Good afternoon, good evening, <laughs> good morning. I'm the only one wearing it, huh? He's playing a trick on me. <laughs> I have him on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me start over again. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in from wherever you are tuning in from. Um, thank you for joining us. As you can tell, our episode today is going to be all about VR. We're super excited. And yes, we're, we're dorks. I'm sorry. But... <laughs> Was, so was that was that worth it? Week. My hair is all messed up now. I know. I'm like trying. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. We're back on track. All right. So this is part of our series called Enhancing Learning with Augmented and Virtual Reality. So if you've been with us the last few weeks, we've been doing focusing more on our augmented reality. But today, finally, we are in VR. So we are leveraging virtual reality in the classroom. And we know you're going to learn something from this session. We're super excited about it. If you haven't seen us before, my name is Teresa Castro. And I am Ricardo Resinos. <laughs> Sorry, it makes me laugh every time. Um, and we are both technology teachers on special assignment from Hacienda La Puente Unified. And as always, we'd like to thank those who support us and the reason why we could do what we love to do, um, our HLPTA, along with CTA and our ILC. So thank you so much. All right, as always, our objective to discover new AR and VR technologies to enhance student learning, bring learning to life by allowing students to be creators of digital content, not merely consumers. So if you're wondering more about that, you have to catch our episode from last week where we showed you a lot of great tools where students could actually make things in the AR world. Okay, but anyways, our purpose for today is to explore highlights of VR in the following. So from the web, we're going to go to YouTube. You're going to be amazed, okay? Um, mobile apps that we're going to use today. How do I pronounce that, Ricardo? I say it wrong every time. Mel, M-E-L? Mm. Sure. That's what we're going with. Mel VR, Science Simulation, <laughs> Co-Spaces, Incel VR. And down at the bottom, HMD. We kept arguing if it's HGM or HMD, but it is HMD because it means head-mounted display, like what Ricardo is demonstrating right now. <laughs> That's dangerous. Don't wear it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, um, it was very difficult for us to decide which apps and what we wanted to show you with uh, HMD. I think I got it right this time. We're going to show you a couple of things that you can do. We couldn't just pick two or one. So we'll show you what's out there. Uh, but again, just wanted to make sure that you know that we're going to cover some apps. But again, we're not doing justice to everything that is out there. As always, hopefully, you know, maybe if we find extra time, we can extend this episode, but we'll see. We have a lot of great episodes lined up. So um, our non-purpose, as always, we do not expect you to throw out anything at all that you've been doing. And please don't feel limited to what I shared today because there's so much more out there in the VR world. So um, by the time you know, we're done with this, there's probably something new out there. <laughs> all right, so what is uh, virtual reality? And I know when you think virtual reality, you think these right? You think, oh, I can only do them when I have these in the classroom. We'll see about that. Okay. So um, VR creates an entire digital environment, a 360 degree immersive user experience that feels real. In a VR setting, students can interact with what they see as if they were there. Is that true, Ricardo? You've used VR more than I have. Uh, yes. Uh, it is pretty incredible how real it feels when you're actually interacting with that 360 degree environment. Yes. So this is a fun one. Virtual reality is a technology that could actually allow you to connect on a real human level, soul to soul, regardless of where you are in the world. I love that one. That's pretty incredible, yes. And so here's what we were talking about down here at the bottom. V virtual reality does not require a headset. So if you're looking at us right now and you're about to log off because you don't have one of these and you don't think you're going to get one, please don't leave. We're going to show you some amazing things that you can do without them. So it provides a fun and interactive way to increase student engagement while being cost effective. HMD, tablets, mobile devices, computers, Chromebooks, etc. So there's so much out there, even if you don't have these. Okay. All right. So as our last few episodes, um, we like to we, we don't just do it for fun, which it is very fun, but we want to align it with the right pedagogy as always. So alignment to the principles of powerful learning from the beloved uh, Jamie Donnelly, which we continue to learn so much from even was it yesterday, Ricardo, <laughs> even yesterday, some of the stuff we're going to share today, actually, we learned yesterday and we were just uh, blown away by it. And so we're thank so you, Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Jamie. She actually gave us permission to use some of it. So and thank you, Verizon. Yeah, they thank did. Thank you, Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not sponsored in any way. We just have to give <laughs> thanks to where we got the information. So thank you. All right. Click. 
right, so, so we yeah. have so go ahead, sorry, go ahead. So I was gonna say, yes, we, we wanna ground ourselves and, and make sure that you understand that there's a reason why we're doing this, right? So as we think about the use of VR in the classroom and how we can uh, engage our students and also uh, make learning more engagement and fun, we, we, we thought about the fact that it has to be personable and accessible, right? We know that every learner is different. So every path in the learning journey is going to be different. So we have to make sure that we can, we can provide different ways of instruction and, uh, and also in the way in which they show mastery, right? So voice and choice. Yes. And so the next one is authentic and challenging. That's pretty self-explanatory in its title itself. But um, when they're engaged and, you know, they are motivated and they persist in overcoming learning challenges, right? Authentic and challenging lessons develop the habits of mind that students need to be empathetic. This is a big one, global citizens and engaged members of their communities. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, Teresa and I were actually at an NPDL webinar today and we kept yeah. thinking about leveraging digital and then the, this mm -hmm. VR and AR series really goes hand in hand with the idea of um, the, 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 the six C's in NPDL and also the idea of uh, leveraging digital when it comes to our students. So yeah, uh, collaborative and connected, right? Working together, high levels of collaboration and also building those skills that they're going to need for the future. Okay. And the last one, inquisitive and reflective. So, you know, you know, you don't just feed the students information. That's not how things should ever have been, but they aren't that way anymore. So inquiry is such an important part now. So inquiry and reflection are strategies for engagement, as well as enduring learning. They're also critical skills for students' futures. Today, students must not able, must not be able not only, <laughs> I don't know how to read Ricardo, sorry. <laughs> Must be able not only to attain new knowledge, but also to ask questions that lead to new insights. What he that said. Sounds, that sounds very NPDL to me, doesn't it? <laughs> I think, you know, we were so immersed in our training today, so I think it's coming back to us. But yeah, right. definitely, mm -hmm. definitely curious. Curiosity is a big part. So AR, VR, and MR, aka immersive technology, XR. <laughs> wow, is there a lot of lot of letters in there. So yeah, so so you know, so when we think about um uh, we've talked about AR, augmented reality, we talked about VR, uh or we're talking about it today, virtual reality, and also there's something called MR, which is mixed reality. They all fall inside the scope of what we call immersive technology, uh, also known as XR. And we wanted to go back and actually talk about a little bit about them so you actually have an understanding of what each of them are, okay? And again, uh, we were lucky enough to be at a training yesterday with Verizon and with Jamie and we uh, I mean there's no better way to show this to you guys than the way we're gonna do it now I'm going to show you if we can um, share the screen right here please feel free to follow along with this like uh, with us again we did get permission from Verizon uh, innovative learning uh, in, in uh, um, um, connection with Arizona State University to share this with you today. What we want you to do is if you have a phone and I'm going to do that right now okay I'm actually going to connect my phone right now okay and I'm gonna bring it in here we want you to see uh, a little bit what augmented reality, how they define it and what virtual reality is, okay? So I'm going to minimize the screen and I'm going to actually take up a, a, a image of that QR code, okay? And we want you to see what's going to happen, okay? So Teresa, let me know if the sound works. And I know your your sound uh, has trouble when I, when I share sound right now, but I want you to yes, see what this good. looks like, okay? So here we go, okay? So again, Verizon Innovative Learning Labs, we're definitely giving credit to them. And we're gonna go in here and try to learn together, okay? So you are seeing my phone right now. Let me turn the volume on for a second. If you give me a second, I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, and here we go. reality track where we will explore the difference between AR and VR. This is augmented reality. Objects and interactions are digitally added to reality and you can see them with your camera feed. It's why you can see me and the room at the same time. AR is also used to change how the world around you is perceived. Adding filters to the camera feed is the most popular way of doing this. Here are two filters. Let me follow Give them a try. Wait, don't move. If I disappear. Try to follow me using the arrow you'll see on the side of your screen. So let's try the filters. This is the night vision filter. It simulates night vision technology. In this module, you will be able to use it to help you on your tasks. This is the thermal vision filter. It simulates how thermal cameras detect changes in temperature, allowing you to see things not always seen by a regular camera. Great work. 
We'll get back to the filters in a minute. But first, let's learn about virtual reality. First, let's place a virtual reality headset in your room. So that was augmented reality. We're going to place a VR set right now in here too. This is a VR headset and you're viewing it in augmented reality, which means you can still see the world around it. Pretty cool, right? We'll put it on in a minute to see some different experiences, but first tap the hotspots to learn a bit more. So let's learn a little bit about uh, the uh, headset that we can use. So let's learn about it. So our focus knob, it might change. It might be placed in a different place on yours, but just give you an idea what there is, right? So it will adjust the focus of the uh, fuzziness of the display, just so you know. The speakers, the sound and uh, where it comes from. The camera, obviously, it's going to be right there. It's, it, it plays a key role. The controls, being able to, to, to control the VR set. And this is a very important strap. We'll talk a little bit about safety when you use them and, and the, the amount of space you need when you're using them. And I got stuck here yesterday. I was like, what do I do now? And I realized that I actually had to turn my VR glasses and there were two more spots in here that I didn't see yesterday. So let's kind of look There's at There's one hot spot left. Explore all sides of the, the display, headset. right? Which we're going to actually go in and actually look in here. Now that you know a few things about the headset, we'll use it to visit the Arctic for your task. Are you ready? So now we're going to go into VR. Okay, that was augmented reality. Let's go into VR. Are we ready for this? Welcome to the Arctic. The Arctic is home to many endangered species. Tracking them helps keep them safe. Today, you're going to help track a skulk of Arctic foxes that have been living in this area. They look something like this. There are six foxes in this pack. I'll keep track of how many you found with these icons in the top right of your screen. The foxes are naturally camouflaged and well hidden. Remember the filters we used in augmented reality. You'll have access to them here to help find the foxes. When you spot a fox, snap a photo. If there's a fox in the photo, you'll see the icons change like this. Be sure to explore. There's three vantage points where you can spot foxes from. Tap between these icons to move. Check them all. I'll reset your fox count and let you get started. Tap this icon for the tutorial. Okay, and now we're inside a virtual reality 360, right? Where I can turn my camera and I'm immersed completely inside of it. I am looking for those foxes, right? So if I wanted to use the uh, different filters, I could do that as I'm looking for them, right? And I can kind of go around, right? Is that, is that one right there? I'm not even sure. Um, and I gotta take a picture of them. Uh, just so you know, there's a total of six of them in there. I'm not gonna look for them. I was able to find five yesterday and I couldn't find the sixth one. I tried for the past 24 hours. I still can't find the last one. So I'm not even gonna try today. But that was an idea of what it will look for you to use augmented reality and virtual reality. We wanted to make sure that you understood that, but we also wanted to make sure that you understood the other term that we saw today, right? Which was mixed reality, right? I'm turning the volume off, uh, so you should be able to be able to talk now. Uh, and then what would be mixed reality? So notice over here, I have actually taken augmented reality. I placed it in a parking lot, okay? <laughs> and actually now I can walk through it. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> So that is the parking at work, at our office, and notice how the mixed reality, it taking the augmented reality and place it in the real world and actually, actually being able to interact with it. Wanted to make sure that you saw that too. <laughs> I'll let it play so we can see it. Gives a good idea. So that gives you a, a great idea of the difference between uh, the options that we have and what we call them, right? As we talk about immersive technology, right? Augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. What do you think, Teresa, when you see them all and when you, when you think about how we can use this in the classroom? 
You know, I have a question. You know, the first one that you shared, the Verizon lesson, is that available to everybody? So, yeah. So let me go back in there. I, that, that's a great question, Teresa. I'm going to leave it up here right now so people can actually see it. Let me get out of uh, this right here. Uh, please uh, feel free to take that QR code, maybe pause the video. Go ahead and more, take right? it. There is more. We just kind of gave you uh, an idea. We have the whole lesson actually here that they share with us as we talk about the difference between AR and VR that you are welcome to use in your classroom. We wanted to make sure that we 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 know we we did justice to this. It's just so incredible, and and, and it just gave us a, a better understanding of where we're going with this today. You know, and you know, even I watching you do it, I kind of felt like you know this is a game. Kids feel like they're they're doing a game and they're trying to win something, but they're just learning so many skills through the vehicle of that. And that lesson is already made for you. You don't have to do anything. You just have to have your iPad or whatever device you're using um, to get the kids. And it teaches them all those things in, I don't know, I was amazed. And you know, I think teachers would definitely want to try that in their classroom. Right, and regardless of what you decide to use in your classroom, right, purpose, always purpose, right? Why are we using that technology? What's behind, what, what are we trying to accomplish, right? It might be something where you want to use augmented reality. It might be somewhere where you have to want to use virtual reality, or maybe you want to use mixed reality or a mixture of all of them together. But we want to make sure that you know that that's available for you. Yes. All right. So virtual reality and student experience. Using VR, our students can teleport to anywhere imaginable. You just saw we were in the parking lot. We were in the ocean. <laughs> we were I was in, in the Hawaii a second ago. You were in Hawaii, were in Hawaii <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> they can explore another country, visit Mars, and also zoom in to experiences such as exploring the elements of the periodic table. Really, it's literally endless, the possibilities. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. And if we can figure out a way to get the smells right yeah. and the taste <laughs> That'd be a new one. I, i'll be saving a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and go over the things that um, ricardo is going to show us today just very briefly so you know that we're what we're getting into and the first one is youtube vr yes so we wanted to make sure that you understood that there's again different ways of doing it right we don't have to have that remind me how to say it h HMD. HMD, right? We're arguing don't, about this all day. <laughs> you don't need one of these ones, okay? You can do it, uh, experience it through the web if you wanted to. You can experience it through applications if you wanted to. And also you can experience it through our VR set that I have over here. So there's no need for you to have that, okay? So YouTube VR allows you to do it uh, with the app, you can do it through a, a Chrome browser, you can do it through the headset. So we are gonna look at that a little bit today, okay? Uh, it's incredible, incredible. You're just waiting for me to say it wrong. Okay, so MEL <laughs> VR science simulation. Again, just experiencing a new level of understanding of science in virtual reality or 3D. You have the ability, again, to use the headset if you want to, or you can do it through the app. And we're going to just see that it's incredible uh, uh, to go in there and, and, and see how things are uh, seen through a microscopic level. Just incredible. I think Ricardo's nerding out right now because I saw him playing with it earlier and he wouldn't stop. So this is familiar if you were with us the last few weeks, Coast Faces. Yeah, we, when we talked about, when we did our episode about um, having our students be creators, not just uh, consumers, we talked about Coast Faces. But we want to make sure that you notice that Coast Faces can be seen through augmented reality, through a, maybe a merch cube. And I don't have one right now. Uh, pretend that augmented reality is showing you one right now. Or uh, through virtual reality. So we'll visit Coast Faces again a little bit. And in cell VR. It's a great action racing game. Again, what Teresa mentioned is the students are actually, they think they're playing, but they're actually learning because they're actually uh, uh, learning in this, in this, in this world about cells. And, and, and it just makes it uh, more engaging, in my opinion. And last but not least. Oh, it's, it's this is incredible. Hopefully it works <laughs> for us. We We're actually going to go into our headset and try to show you some of the stuff that you can do with it. And hopefully the technology helps us today and works with us and is kind to us to be able to show you that because it is incredible. OK, so we're going to start and I think we're going to start with um, YouTube. I think we said, right, Teresa? Yes. YouTube so VR. some people might not be aware that there is something called YouTube VR. OK, and all I can do just to show you um, um, uh, a little bit uh, about it. You can do it through a headset if you want to. You can do it through a cardboard if you wanted to. You can do it through the phone and you can do it through the desktop. So you don't have again, you don't need to have one of these guys to be able to experience this. OK, yeah. so we're going to show you today. I was going to show you through my phone app, but let's just do it through the desktop. I think it's easier. OK, yeah. so I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm just in YouTube. Okay. And all I did is I look for uh, VR channel. 
that's all I did, okay? And I found this channel right here, and I can subscribe if I want to. But let's go in here, and let's go ahead and go to the Coral World and experience this right now, okay? So let's go in there. And you're going to see what's going to happen. Let me make this big. So notice that I can actually come in here. Are you dragging your screen? And I'm dragging my screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, the students have control. They're not just watching a screen that you no. set them. This is a I don't think you've ever done this with, you, with a YouTube video, have you? The ability to have the choice and to go around and explore what you want to see, it's its so powerful I, for, for me, but especially our kids. That is exactly what I'm doing. I'm actually dragging my screen and I have a 360 experience to be able to see this, okay? So just incredible, right? Wow. Um, I, I know I know. I can spend the whole day here <laughs> and, and I probably would. Um, let me go back and uh, we'll show you another one right now. So let me just go back a little bit right now. Um, and let's go, um, Teresa, would you like to go spend some time in Paris maybe? Oh, yes. Oh, should we go to Venice? A vacation. <laughs> okay, let's go to let's go to Paris. Okay, let's go to Paris. Yeah, Paris. Okay. That's on my wish list. And I'm gonna make it big again. And notice what I can do. <laughs> it's like you're really there, which is the whole point, right? So think about our students, right? Being able to visit any of these places just by going to YouTube. Pretty incredible, right? And and, and um, just to mention, um, if I actually was using my YouTube app on my phone, and if I had those cardboard glasses or any type of VR glasses, I or I could I was doing it through the VR glasses, I could actually be immersed and be able to actually be part of this if I wanted to. Um, I'll, I'll go I'll go and do one more if uh, if it's okay. Um, you know what? Actually, why don't we um why don't we go uh, and visit um, Jupiter moons? Ooh. I could see the wheels turning on in teachers' minds right now as they're thinking of units that they do with their kids. I, I know. Think about how we. I, I know we 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 utilize YouTube, right? It's such a powerful tool, right? But I don't think a lot of us have unleashed the power to do this yet. Right? <laughs> Just incredible, right? So <laughs> we, we just did a lesson on. The solar system with kindergartners <laughs> and again again purpose right we did that yeah. um using ar augmented reality right but you could if, if your choice was to use vr you're more than welcome to do that and do it through vr yeah. i think just such a great tool to have right Absolutely. it's just pretty amazing um teresa just because i don't have access to the powerpoint i don't know if you have it open um sure. to know you where know yeah, I want to know next where I'm going next. Is, I will I will gladly help you in that way. <laughs> um, MEL VR science simulation. Oh, yes. Yeah, so if I if we have time today, we are going to show you that through the VR glasses. But again, uh, we want to make sure that you understand that there's no need for you to have those to have those VR glasses. OK, so here I am in my iPad right now. OK, and I basically went ahead and downloaded the app. This is available uh, um, Android or iOS. It doesn't matter what you want to use. So, again, it gives you freedom to do it. So now that I downloaded my uh, my app, uh, my M-E-L or Mel VR, I don't know how we say it yet. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to ask you what language you want to experience this in, okay? So I'm going to just speak English and I'm going to confirm. And Teresa, I'm going to turn the sound on again, okay? Just so they can hear it. And then we'll, we'll come back, okay? So here I am, okay? And I have the ability to uh, atoms and solid if I want to, atoms and gases, atom structures. So let me just go to the first one. Welcome Do we have sound? Virtual laboratory where you can see the invisible. Today, you will use our virtual microscope for the first time. We will start with a diamond. This diamond is called the Kohinoor. It was found in India about a thousand years ago. People estimate its value to be over a billion dollars. Wow. Let's look inside. Ready to dive? So ready to go inside we with virtual reality? In. Each cell Here we go. is 10 times smaller than the one before. We need to zoom in about a billion times. That's nine zeros after a one. 
Wow. And now we see these small particles that our diamond is built of. They're called atoms. Further on, we will show atoms smaller than their real size to let you see their arrangement better. However, in real life, atoms in solids touch each other. Also, they don't stay still. They are constantly vibrating. Let's switch time on. Ready, steady, go. All matter is built of atoms that are constantly moving. In solids, like our diamonds, they vibrate. You can see how I could each pause there if I want to. I can continue with the lesson. Connected to four others. Such a strong structure makes a diamond one of the hardest materials. Let's return back to our laboratory. And I do want to show you the pencil we before we move on. Pencil here. It's a billion times cheaper, but interestingly, its lead is made of the same carbon atoms as a diamond. Let's look inside. Ready to dive? We have to zoom in about a billion times to see the individual atoms. So now we're inside our pencil lead, right? They are the same carbon atoms as in a diamond, but their arrangement is different. As you can see, they are laid out in layers. These layers are easy to separate from each other since there is no strong bond between them. This makes graphite much softer than a diamond. When you write with your pencil, the marks on the paper are traces of graphite. You can fly inside this graphite crystal and explore it by yourself. Just to remind you, you are now as small as an atom, and what you see around you is the tip of a pencil enlarged a billion times. Let's go back to our laboratory. So I could actually go in there and I'll show you that through the uh, VR glasses where I can experience and actually walk around that pencil inside and looking at the atom level. Okay, so pretty incredible to see. I wanted to make sure you saw that, okay? Where are we going next, Teresa? Oh, and hold on, uh, let, me, let, me, let me mute this. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, next we are going to Coast Spaces. But before we go to Coast Spaces, you know that, I don't know. I usually, you know, I hate it when we show videos for a long time, but I was so engaged and I was just like, wow, what? <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not even the students. Can you just imagine them when you're teaching them a lesson that relates to this? The facts are so amazing. The, the graphics are amazing. And then to be able to add that very layer of actually being able to go in and manipulate it yourself to explore is just... Oh, so yeah, if we have a chance, we'll show you what it looks like in the uh, uh, virtual uh, reality glasses. It's a whole different experience, okay? Um, Coast Spaces, I know we've spent a lot of time with Coast Spaces before. What I wanted to make sure uh, that you saw, and we wanted to make sure that you actually experienced, we did the last this last time, okay? It's that we actually can come in here and just to show you, I'm going to go to gallery. There's a lot of resources already created for us right here. So I'm just going to pick something in here. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Reserva Animal World. I'm just going to go in there, okay? So let's go in there. Uh, again, uh, cost spaces does have a cost, a cost. So we want to make sure that we we, we are uh, open about that. So it's loading for me. And are we're going to give it a second. Please? There are some free elements to cost spaces, okay. but uh, uh, yeah, there is also a uh, subscription. Uh, but we're not going there. Uh, notice how much faster this was today, okay? So I'm going to uh, play this, okay? And notice that I have the ability to experience this if I wanted to, just with the device. But notice in the bottom, I actually have the glasses if I wanted to go and click that, and I can have view and VR, view and AR, right? So I have those options right there, okay? Let me just go to view and VR if I can do that. So notice if I have my glasses, and if we have a chance, we're going to actually show you that, okay? But notice how we can come in here and experience that 360 that we were talking about before. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that you saw it. And that, when okay? you put it in the glasses, it's fluid. Like it looks it's like, you know, you're exactly. Like we'll, we'll try to show you that if we can today. Okay. Um, I know if you, if you missed our episode last week, when Teresa created her assignment on all about me, uh, I'm going to go in there because it was such a great job. You mean when you shared. I would have given I you an A if I uh, if I was grading this. I'm going to go in there mm -hmm. and notice that this was the assignment that Teresa created. And again, we're in that 360 environment. Okay. In here. But I do, again, have the ability to come and use the VR glasses <laughs> if I wanted to. Just so you okay. see them. Okay. And there we are again. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that you saw that we can use code spaces in the virtual reality world. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, where are we going next? We are going to Incel VR. Incel VR. So this is actually an oldie but goodie. Okay. I'm going to go in there and I want you to see it. I'm going to actually share sound. Um, did it not open for me? Here it goes. Okay. So here it goes. I think it's loading and I'm going to share sound in a second. See if it works for us. 
And let me actually share my phone because I actually, you know, backup plan right here, right? So let me actually have it on my phone too. So as we um, are doing this, let me go ahead and actually share my phone. Ricardo, Ricardo always, always has, has like a plan, plan B, B and a C. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but uh, let's go ahead and try. So let's go ahead and sell VR, okay? And it just, I was just impatient. I didn't give it time, right? So let me share the sound. So it tells you if you don't have cardboard viewer, right? You can actually press it to be able to experience it just in a different view. We're going to leave it with the glasses right now. The new era of modern healthcare is upon us. And so I was created, the most excellent assistant robot 07. But you may refer to me simply as your highness. Wow. My purpose is to aid humans such as yourself in infiltrating a human cell. Today we are performing the first miniaturization test in order to cure our volunteer. Think about engagement, right? Gaming, Smith gamification. Is experiencing a mild invasion of the influenza virus. And don't worry about surviving the miniaturization. We have completed all the tests on six excellent assistant robots. So, we are scanning for here we go. in search of the ones attacked by the virus. For the first time, a simple human and a genius robot are working together. Aren't you filled with joy? I know I am. The virus will move into the cell nucleus. Our goal is to outrun the virus and bring the vaccine into the nucleus. Okay, and I just want you to see this. Hopefully it goes there. Here we go. Okay, let's give it some more time. I'm very impatient. Have you noticed that? Are we going in? Here it goes. And I'm sorry, it was me. I'm not looking at the right place, am I? <laughs> and I will go in there and then we turn it around and I can kind of show you how it will work. Let's go ahead and start. So let me start. Let me actually let me, let me get out of the VR view so you can actually see it better. Okay, give me one second. Here goes. So let's go ahead and start. So here we go. We're going in. So I got out of the VR just to show you that you can. You don't need uh, VR glasses to do this. Okay. And we're actually inside a cell right now. Welcome inside the cell, human. Our patient is suffering from the influenza virus. To protect this cell from virus, we should reach the cell nucleus and bring the vaccine into it. Please focus on the mitochondrion organelle to begin. And as a student, I would have said, what? <laughs> I wasn't a very good student in science. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> but here we go. We are moving to the mitochondrion organelle. If I want to go back to VR, I can just hold it. The navigation Let's see how you can get a chance. So here we go. That's too bad. And I did something wrong, right? Because I don't know how to play this game, right? <laughs> but it gives you an idea of what you can do with it and uh, how amazing it is, right? Just incredible, I think. So it just uh, was pretty incredible to see that. Oh, hold on, Teresa. I'm so sorry. He has to <laughs> unmute me because I you hear double whenever he shares sound. Um, you know, I, when I was watching, I felt like I was in Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like a ride, right? right? sound, just the way they, you know, it's so well done. So we, so last but not least, uh, we are going to be doing Ecosphere VR. Okay, so hopefully the sound works. I'm actually going to put my glasses on. So <laughs> Teresa's going to have to guide me through this, okay? Mm. So I'm going to turn them on. And then um, hopefully if we are um, doing this right. I know, don't laugh at me, okay, Teresa? We are not laughing at you. You're laughing with me, right? What I want you to see is that I'm actually going to go in here, okay? Give me a second. I'm almost in there. Okay. And I'm going to come in here. And it's, I, I, had, I should have had them on before. They were not on. So now it's loading. And I'm going to go in here. And I want you to see what I'm going to do, okay? I'm actually going to share with you what I am seeing, okay? So I'm going to actually go on my phone. Whoa. 
It's interesting. Trisha, you're gonna have to guide me, okay? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to start. Go. Okay, and uh, this phone. And um, you will tell me, Teresa, can you see what I'm seeing? Yes. Okay, so I'm actually, actually seeing my VR glasses right now. So notice that I'm inside a 360 environment. I was telling Teresa that I was at the beach because I'm always at the beach when I'm in VR. <laughs> what did you want to be here? Okay, so let's go ahead and continue, okay? So we wanna show you a couple of things. I wanted you to see that Cospaces is right here, okay? So again, the same experience that we had with Cospaces before with the app, we can do it right inside of our glasses. Uh, chemistry, I'm not sure if the sound is going to work, but let me go in there really quick, okay? Just so you see it uh, um, fast, okay? Teresa, let me know if we can see my VR glasses. I think it's loading. Sure. Here it goes. There it M is. M-E-L, O-M-E-L, okay, it's coming. I'm not sure if the sound is going to work for us, but let's try it. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm going to skip the update right now. Okay. And then let's see. Are you still seeing it, Teresa? Yes, I am. Okay. So let's go in there. I don't think the sound is going to work. Well, does it work the sound? It does. Oh my God. That's it really? So, so I'm actually going to go in a pencil. It's soft, but it's still hearable. Okay. Let me see if I can make it louder. Okay. Word. One second. And it's the same idea, right? I just want to make sure that I put the volume up. Oh, I turned it off. Sorry. Is that better? Yes. Okay. But I could be, I, I'll actually be able to go into the pencil and see what I want to see in here and, uh, and, uh, actually see what we did before. Let me go back. I'm going to exit this and then let me go to, you stop laughing at me, please. <laughs> let me go I'm back. We uh, are not we, laughing. We wanted to show you today that, uh, Eco spaces, right? So let me go in here. You're going to love this. It's incredible. So I'm going in. Make sure, let me know if it's not working on the phone, if you can see it. Okay, Teresa? We can see it. Perfect. Here I go. So it's loading for us. And then uh, I can hear you laughing. <laughs> so, I'm going, so I'm going to skip this, okay? It's, the intro is pretty interesting, but I'm going to skip it right now. So here I go. Can you see what I'm seeing? Whoa, cool, the earth. Yeah, and I'm gonna go in here and let me pick Kenya. Here we go. So I'm actually gonna download the experience so we can actually go in there. Let's go in there. I should have downloaded before this before we started. I'm not sure how slow it's going to be. It's probably going to be very slow, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be very slow. But it gives you an idea of what I could do. I can actually go in here. Uh, let me go. I think I have downloaded a different one before. So let me go see if I can go somewhere else to it. Because I do want you to see this. It's pretty incredible. Let me see if I had downloaded the other one before, okay? Because my internet is not being very helpful. So let's see if we can go somewhere else. And notice that we're going inside. And you can experience this with me through my phone. Let's go ahead and let it load. Let's go ahead and skip so we can go straight in. And then here we have the ability to explore different places. You are now on a journey of discovery to experience a planet where humans and wildlife can both thrive. Welcome home. So let's go ahead and explore. So if I wanted to go, um, just to give you an idea, into Kenya, I could. If I wanted to go this way a little bit more into Borneo, I could. But let's go ahead and go to um, Indonesia. Let's go ahead and experience that. So I'm going to go inside. And notice this will be about 15 minutes long. Dive into an extraordinary underwater experience. 
swimming with school fish, huge manta ray, sharks, and colorful corals. So let's go ahead and go inside. So, uh, I mean, the first time I experienced this, I just feel like I'm there. Check this out. The Indonesian archipelago of Raja Ampat lies off the coast of West Papua in Southeast Asia. Covering 40,000 square kilometers. Just amazing. The region is home to biodiverse coral reefs. So look at that guy up there. All coral reefs are special. But some are extraordinary. Wow, look at this. Hello. Roger Ampat lies just two degrees off the equator. So its coastal seas bask in strong sunlight and constant temperatures. Wow. We could spend hours here. This is where two great bodies of water meet. The Indian and Pacific Oceans. Look at the result is an unparalleled diversity of marine life. Look at the There's a field over there. This wider region is home to 75% of all known coral species. Many of the creatures living here oh, hi, Nemo. are found nowhere oh, else he left. on Earth. He's These back. underwater ecosystems are so special that a charity called the Missoul Foundation And as we experience, we'll meet our local guide. Future. We'll go back outside and let's go ahead and meet our local guide. Wow. I grew up in the mountains area, but then became very curious about what lives inside the sea. Now I study the ocean every day. I love to get underwater snorkeling, diving, and exploring the ecosystem of Miso. And that just gives you an idea, right? I'll stop it there, but just you get a very good idea how this works. It's just um, so engaging and just immersive. Reefs are vital sanctuaries for ocean-going giants. So I'm going to um, get out of it for a second. Um, we talked about the ability to do, um, as my apps keep coming back, let me um, unfog my glasses. If you give me a second, Teresa, is that okay? Because <laughs> you're laughing at me right now. <laughs> So, you know, when you when you think of this, you also have to think of the safety of the students, right? You really have to set up a good space. For yeah, them we, we to were going to talk about that, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me go in here. And I really want to show you that the, the Kenya one, but I couldn't do it right now. Let me go and go into um, I know we talked about uh, See, it's, it's downloading right now. OK, so we'll give it a chance or whatever. Uh, we're going to let's go into um, uh, YouTube VR so you can see how the Uber look from this point of view. OK, so I want you to see it. Okay, so if we went in here and we look for um, uh, 360, and if maybe I wanted to go, we did Paris before, didn't we? Let's go, what should we do? Um, oh, you want to do a song, Teresa? So this also could be fun. Would you like me to do this? Yeah. Or oh, you want to keep it educational? Let's keep no. it educational. <laughs> okay, let's keep it educational then. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back with our uh, 360, and let's go ahead and go into the deep sea. Why not? Okay, we can do that. I'm going to go inside. Hopefully you can hear it. Yes. And notice that I'm actually... Hi. We live on this <laughs> incredible, unfamiliar blue planet. Right? And I'm actually here on this field trip. Notice this. But almost nobody sees it. The ocean protects wow. us. Can you see what I'm seeing? Yes. What we don't see, we 
don't connect with. So we need to look. So that we can so here's my dive guy. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> life in the ocean. Oh it's my like god, look at that. Terrestrial place on Earth. Are you seeing this? Yes, the turtle. Life in all its shapes and forms. We depend on biodiversity for clean water and air, for food and medicine, and for the overall resilience of our planet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm more entertained by what's on the screen or by you. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. Uh, no. Let's go back. No, I'm just kidding. And so you can see it. So if I went in here, I'll show you one more. It would have been the same experience. Uh, let me go back to YouTube. Let's go by default. We're going to go to 360 videos. Okay. And then let's go ahead uh, and uh, Los Guardianes protecting the rainforest. So this would have been the experience you would have gotten in Kenya. Okay. Kind of the same idea. So let me show you this. Same idea. So here I am inside. Notice that I can do a 360. I can look up. I can look everywhere, right? Cool. So think about our students right now. They're actually there. Does it feel like you're actually I'm, there? I'm there, Teresa. I'm actually there. I'm That's stepping awesome. on top of water right now. <laughs> it's in, It's just like I'm there. That's awesome. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but it's just incredible. You know, sometimes we can't travel our students to the next closest rainforest. <laughs> Look at that tree. <laughs> and this is so much more powerful than just watching something on a screen. Right? Um, yeah. So I'm going to forward a little bit so you can see what we're going to do with this, okay? So here we are with him and he will, you know, so we'll get to experience it through their eyes and through our eyes too as we are looking around. So this is what, this would have given you an idea of what it would look like if we had done it through uh, through the app that I was trying to show you. That unfortunately, again, technology is like that, right? So um, it would have given you an idea. Okay, um, I'll do one more if I can. Uh, in here, um, uh, we can go to one of my favorite cities. Really quick, Florence. Okay, and let's go ahead and forward a little bit. And here we are in Florence now. Right, I'm standing right next to the people. Are you like in people. a balcony or on yeah, a bridge? Yeah, and I'm actually, yeah, and hopefully we'll get a chance to go to the cathedral, and hopefully we'll get a chance to go and visit David. In here, here we go. So actually, here I am. Look at that. I actually been here, and I can tell you that the experience is actually almost as if I was standing right here, which I've done many times. Don't be jealous, Teresa. I am. And just to finish it off, I mean, let me forward a little bit. And here we go. And I'm next to the river. I've actually stood here too. And notice. He's not joking. He travels a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll just give you the story. This is called the, the Lover's Bridge right here. And people actually leave uh, locks with their initials. You can see a couple of them right there. Aww. And uh, and they throw the key into the water. And that means that they're going to be together forever. Forever. Uh -huh. and, the, and then the security comes the next day and they cut them all off and throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I'll go wow, one more. Burst my bubble. All right. And here it goes. And uh, yeah, so look at this. <laughs> I've actually ridden that carousel over there, but we're going to stop there. I'm sorry. Um, just wanted to give you an idea. The moment I take him off, it's going to go away. You'll see that. It'll, it'll recognize that I'm not there, or maybe it won't recognize that I'm not there. Oh, actually, it's still there. It's That's pretty amazing, thing. right? You have to do that. I'm just yeah, kidding. right. He's right. And it actually notice. does turn off. Yeah. So <laughs> this, hopefully, this gave you an idea of all of the things that you can do with virtual reality. I think for us, the main message was that you don't need an expensive VR set, right? You can do it through uh, uh, Chromebooks. You can do it through an app, through, through an iPad and so on and so on. It's going to allow you to experience, have your students experience uh, uh, some incredible um, ways of seeing learning, I think, right? And, you know, that's, that's what I thought too before. I thought, you know, oh, we don't have the funding for those... Uh, devices and you know, I think a lot of teachers have a misconception thinking that they can't do anything AR or VR without um, having to invest in those things but just seeing all the things you demonstrated without it 
I was I was amazed and I would definitely incorporate that into my lessons to give my students a more immersive experience. So we hope you all enjoyed our session on VR today and AR and you get curious and try all the things that we've been doing today. And if you have any feedback, please let us know. And if you've discovered any more wonderful tools, please share because we would love to hear from you. So thank you so much. And what is it? I was going to say, yeah, hopefully you learned along uh, us because we learn <laughs> so much, right? Uh, 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 how we can bring augmented reality, how we can bring virtual reality, how we can bring mixed reality, right? And how we put them all together and we have this immersive technology that is available for us and, uh, uh, and also available for uh, engaging our students in the classroom. So yes. Very cool. All right, everybody, we will see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. -bye.